in this video, I am going to discuss about how to reduce shrink the SQL Server database size. So we can also do right here reducing the database size. Okay, sometimes so uh, our database has uh, more size or bulkier like lots of data. So sometimes there are lots of unused space. So by using shrink method, we can reduce the database size. So let's uh, add here. I've created a uh, for Adam database. So first to add here, select Adam, right click, and here we can find task. Now here, go to shrink, and here we can do add here reducing on database, or we can do it on files. So let's uh, select select add here database. So Adam one that is selected. Add here, or uh, this is the definition. The size of database is reduced by collectively shrinking the database files, releasing unused space. So by using our shrink, we can release the unused space. To shrink individual database files, use shrink file instead. Okay. So add a database atom that is selected. Now here after also add here current allocated space 76106 MB. So sometimes or some database has so lots of records then obviously or the size are higher like 5 GB 10 GB then or we need to use this method to reduce the space okay now here 761 and here 69 let's click on ok so it's a releasing unused space so 761 and 69 now let's check that so Right now, add here or see current allocated space 298. So that was 761. Right now, this is a 298.25 MB. And here, this is still 69. So by using this, add here previously that was 761. And here, after applying or reducing or shrinking the size, automatically that reduces. Now, this is 23%. And here. Now here after the next is suppose add here let's go shrink here database so this is 9761 okay this is the 9% now here after let's skip or oh, this one add here 50% okay so 761 and here this is the 9% click on okay now here after let's check that So at here this is now reduce 761 was now here after that reduce by 50% so this is now 24246 and here or uh, available free space 20% it's showing so by using this option at here we can add here maximum free space in the file after syncing we can set the percentage at here now let's click on cancel now here after I used item 1 and item 2 now here after let's see next at here shrink and here on file so at here the size of database is reduced by shrinking individual files to release unallocated space okay so we can reduce the database size by on uh, by release unallocated space to shrink all database files use shrink database okay to shrink all database so we can use now here after database selected atom 3 now first file we have three options data log and file so data i selected so this is a primary now here file name that is atom and here so first i am going to use this option so at here 256 and 27% okay release unused space Okay, 256 and 27%. Now, here after, let's check that. So, at here, there are no any changes. Current are 256 and 27%. That is released. There are no any unused space. So, at here, or if I select this option. So, at here, reorganizing page before releasing unused space. So, at here, 256. So minimum we can go at here 187. So let's give at here. Now here let's give 
180. Now here is a 256 and here 27%. So it's a executing. Now here after task and here you can find string and here file. So see at here it's a directly that decreased right now current allocated space 187 and here 1.19 MB and here it's showing 0% so after selecting this option okay so minimum we can go at here or minimum is 186 MB now here after let's cancel that and here task and here next shrink and here file so next is at here this is uh, at here or uh, empty files migration. Now here after that select at here log files. So at here available video space 97% and here 5.5 MB. Now let's click on OK. Now let's see any changes. So at here see uh, after applying at here log OK. So at here this is now 42 and here this is now 41, 41.86 at here it's a showing. Okay, now here after let's use at here this was used and here. So here after empty the files, empty the migrating data or to the other files in the same file group. So this is to use for file group. Okay. If you are using file group, then you should use at here empty files to migrating data or other file in the same group. So here or uh, we can do at here or uh, shrinking on database or we can do on files. So we can select at here data and here log files and here file stream. So at here if you select at here file stream data, so it's all a disable. Okay, now here after you can give at here maximum this is the 256. Now you can give at here 180, 180. Uh, let's give at here 80, 99. And here 256, and here this is 69. 256, and it was 69. Check that. What exactly happened? So see at here. I was trying with uh, at here 99 but it's uh, only reduced because at here minimum we can go 186 so it's uh, just uh, showing higher of 186 that is 187 and here right now it's a zero available free space 0% okay so if I try to enter this there are available free space so there are no very less free space so we cannot uh, or what uh, we cannot insert many records okay so these two things sometimes we can reduce the or uh, by using at here or uh, shrink and reduce we can at here reduce the size of any database here. So these two things at here how to reduce shrink the SQL server database size. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.